All right. Well, hey, everybody. Grim Green from GrimGreen.com back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a vapey thing right here that I wanted to talk about. Look at this little guy. This is just a tiny little mouth-to-lung tank made by Cthulhu Mods. This is called the Hastour Mouth-to-Lung Mini RTA. In order to get to know this little guy just a little bit better, what we're going to do is go up close, as we always do. That's right. Quick short up at closey time. The wind up, the go. <clears throat> All right. Hey, that was pretty smooth. We are just going to be taking a quick look at this Hastour mouth to lung RTA mini. And the first thing everybody's going to notice, look at this, look at this crazy drip tip, man. This is, uh, this is one of the drip tips that it comes with. It does also come with a little bit smaller, a little bit more reasonable sized Delrin drip tip as well. But both of these drip tips kind of suffer from the same problem. If you look down in here, you see how small that airflow is is going through the middle. It's just a tiny, tiny little pinhole air throw, airflow through both of these drip tips. And unfortunately, what that leads to, because there sometimes gets a little bit of condensation right here, you end up prominently slurping that straight through this tiny little, tiny little airflow. The slight condensation that happens inside of this 510 drip tip hole is made worse. It's just exacerbated by these tiny, tiny little airflows right there. Thankfully, a little bit more wide bore of a drip tip, 510 drip tip also fits in here pretty well. And when you're kind of going through and looking for a 510 drip tip that might fit in here in case you don't want to use either of these weird drip tips, just be aware that the hole right here is kind of shallow. So if I put a 510 drip tip in there that's a little bit too long, there's just gonna be a big gap right there along the bottom. So finding the correct 510 drip tip is eh, sometimes a little bit of a struggle with this. I found that the DHD uh, I don't even remember the name of these. Paquitos? Are these the Paquito drip tips? No, uh, Chiquita. These are the Chiquita drip tips and they fit in here just, I mean, flawlessly. And don't look quite as ridiculous as say something like that. So let's tear this down top to bottom. Here's how you refill the juice. You're gonna see uh, two notches over here, right? See a notch over here and a notch over here. This whole top plate is just held in with O-rings and pressure. So you kind of twist this until it releases and then you can take it off and that's how you fill it up and then you line up these notches again with these notches right here and then you can just give it a little bit of a twist give it about half a twist and it stays really I mean insanely secure this is a very simple simple juice fill system at the top here when you first get it and your o-rings are dry this is going to be a little bit of a struggle but honestly as soon as you start filling this up as soon as you have a little moisture or lubrication on this it slides and glides really easily. I've never had it accidentally fall off or accidentally come off when I didn't want it to, but you just go boop and line it up, fill it, boop, put it back and twist it and, and you're good. Take a quick look at that AFC. You got three. You got three to choose from. The smallest airflow here right here is a 0.8 millimeter. The one in the middle is a 1.2 millimeter and then the biggest one is a 1.4 millimeter. For my mouth to lung vaping, I very much like using the middle one. I find it to be a very nice balance of, you know, stiffness and a little bit of openness. I'm a little bit particular about how I like my mouth to lung and I really like the middle one. I do also use the most open one from time to time, the 1.4 millimeter, just because I like a little bit more open of a mouth to lung, but it's still restricted enough that it's not a restricted lung hit. It is definitely a mouth to lung. All of these holes are solid mouth to lung holes. It's just a tiny, tiny little tank with a tiny, tiny little deck on the inside. And then of course the glass just pops off real easily. In fact, it comes with a frosted glass version as well, which sure, we'll use that today. And there's your real simple, real K-funny looking deck right there. These are Phillips head screws. They both just come up. You wrap your uh, coils clockwise and have one lead going off in one direction, one lead going off in the other direction. You kind of just set it in there, screw the screws down. I mean, it's it's the most K-funny, non-K-fun, K-funny deck I've ever seen. And then you can see right here, these are where your wicks are going to dip into when you're wicking it. You don't want to stuff this full of cotton, but you kind of want just the tips, I guess, of your wicks kind of going down in here. This is where the 
the juice is going to hit your cotton and wick up to your coils. It's all really straightforward. This just threads back on here. You take your tip and you, uh, you take your top here, you press it down into those tabs, and then you have a completed tank already. But we're getting ahead of ourselves because what I want to do real quickly is I want to vape this, so we are going to wick it real fast. So what I built in here is just a single coil. It's about an eight wrap of 24 gauge anarchist uh, niachrome wire. Came out to right around 0 0.4. All I'm gonna do is uh, grab some Kogendo, Japanese organic cotton, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna wick this real fast. <laughs> I almost said Rick. I almost said Rick this real fast. Just, uh, yeah, we, we, we're gonna wreck this up real good. Worst Rick impression ever. Really, truly very simple. This is one of those things you don't want to like completely clog up that little, you know, hole right there. You want a little bit of space. So again, I just like to take my scissors and I like to just create a little bit of a, you know, a gap, a little, a little place for air and liquid to travel. You don't want that just clogged up with wick. I'm only using a 50-50 PGVG because this is mouth to lung and that's what I like for mouth to lung. So I like to just, you know, pop my wicks in there and just create a little bit of a little bit of an air flow opening. Yeah, something like that. Not too bad. Wet, 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 wet. And then the vapors happen. Then really, all you have to do is screw this whole tank together. Remember those tabs on top? We're going to twist this till that comes off. You can take this juice fill, fill it up. It's great. Juice goes in one side, air goes out the other, and you just find those tabs again. You kind of press down a little bit and you just twist it. It's all sealed up. This is it. We're done. We're good to go. What we're going to do right now is get back out to normal view. We're going to vape this guy. Yeah, great, great vape. I've just been having a fantastic time with this tank. It is mouth to lung, just happiness. I love vaping with it. I, I've said it before, I've already said it already, but it really does remind me of the quality of vape that I get from like the K-Fun Light Plus. Real smooth, but tight airflow. It's got that real small deck, that real small chamber on the inside, and that just equals just just banging flavor, just really nice mouth to lung flavor. As much as I love the vape experience that I get from this little Hastur Mini RTA, it's not flawless, right? Obviously, nothing is perfect. And one of the things that this tank does is, yeah, juice condensation. I talked about it in the Uppy Closey, but what happens is right in this little spot, juice. Juice just kind of builds up. The same thing happens in a lot of RTAs and a lot of mouth to lung RTAs. It, it's a very real struggle with that juice condensation. I find myself like at least five, six, seven times a day, I take like the corner of my shirt, which you can't see right here, and I just kind of go boop, 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 and like wipe it out, or I'll take the drip tip off and I'll like flick it, like flick the juice out of it. Because what happens when you get that condensation in there is it starts feeling slurpy. It starts feeling a little bit gurgly. It's made much worse by those drip tips with the real tiny, tiny airflow through the middle. In fact, with the stock drip tips with the tiny, tiny airflow through the middle, I've actually sucked juice right out of there, right into my mouth, just because that airflow is so narrow. That passageway is so narrow, the juice, you slurp it up and it has no place to go. When you use a wider bore drip tip like this Chiquita drip tip, all it's going to do is gurgle. Unless you drag intensely hard, all it's going to do is gurgle. You're never going to get it in your mouth. It's just... It's just good, just mouth to lung, throat hit, flavor for days. This really very much reminds me of back in the day when mouth to lung vaping was all there was. I loved it and this, this brings me back to that time when mouth to lung was king. It is a very stellar vape. Aesthetically, I really like this tank. It's it's clean. It's There's no engraving or big knurling anywhere. I'm not in love with the little pedestal that your drip tip has to sit on, but I also understand that that's a function of the actual tank and it does kind of need to be
be there. The tank itself does have a pretty small capacity just because it's a small tank. It's a small, tiny little flavor banger. So your capacity isn't amazing, but you're also only using it in mouth to lung. And when I vape mouth to lung, even if I'm like chain vaping away, I don't really plow through a lot of juice. You don't use as much juice when you're doing like lower wattage mouth to lung vaping compared to like real high wattage, like sub ohm tank vaping. You blow through much less juice. So for me, the capacity has never been an issue. So two quick things I wanna mention, because of the construction of this and just because the way it's built and the way that the airflow is set in there, when you are going through your daily routine of vaping this and filling this and vaping this and then you decide I wanna clean it out so you take it all apart, you know, you take your wick out, you, you know, you rinse it under the sink, under water. Water, H2O, can kind of get stuck behind this airflow. You can sometimes get some water that's stuck in here after you've been rinsing it out. And so kind of what you need to do is dry it all off, put it together and then blow out, get all that water out of there. Because what will happen is you'll rewick your coil, you'll juice it up, you'll fill up your tank. And then the first drag you take, it's gonna suck that water right up at your coil. And your first like 10 to 15 toots on this are gonna feel real weird and taste very flavorless. And the reason is because you're pulling that water up at your coil. So you're not just vaporizing your liquid, you're vaporizing your liquid and the water, the residual water that was kind of left down in here. It's just something to be aware of when you're cleaning this tank out. And lastly, I wanted to mention, you don't have to run this at an insanely high wattage. Like I said, this is an eight wrap, 24 gauge uh, Nichrome Anarchist wire build in here around a three millimeter. It came out to a 0.4 and I'm only running it at about 18 watts which is giving me about 2.8 eight volts. You don't need just a whole mess of voltage and wattage running to these coils. In fact, 100% of the time, not just with this tank, but with the K-Fun tank and with other sort of mouth to lung tanks in the same family, I run it at a much, much lower wattage because you don't need that much voltage to get a satisfying vape from this. If you crank up that wattage far too high, your wicks aren't going to be able to keep up and you're gonna end up with some dry hits or some possibly some burnt hits, like right out of the gate. These sort of flavor banger mouth to lung tanks really very much benefit from a much lower wattage, a much lower voltage overall. Good, oh, it's so good. Just so flavorful. This is loaded up with Cardamator Crush, the 5050 PGVG 18 milligram, and I absolutely love love the vape I get from this tank. Okay, so let's wrap this up. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for this Hastour mini mouth to lung tank? Eh, not really. Clicking around the internet, I found it anywhere between 30 and $35. And I know this is something that I say pretty frequently, but that's kind of a price point where you could buy it just to try it out if you're interested in it. If you're interested in having something, you know, that you can run higher nicotine in, that's going to be a real nice, satisfying, flavorful mouth to lung vape. If you've never tried something like that, $32, I feel is definitely cheap enough to where you're like, I'm de I, I want to try that. I want to try that mouth to lung experience. And if we're going to play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take everything I have, I have no vape gear left is the Hass Tour Mini, something that I would seek out and buy for $32. Yeah, dude, I definitely would. Don't get me wrong, I love my K-Funds and I love my K-Fun Light Plus. I think the K-Fun tanks are really unique and really one of a kind, but this Hastour Mini coming out in 2018 that relies on a lot of the same principles that the K-Fun kind of created, that small deck, that single coil, the way it wicks, the way it all goes together, that small chamber in there, that small chimney in there. They did it real well. It 
all fits together real well and I get a fantastic mouth to lung vape from this. In fact, honestly, this has sidelined, completely sidelined my k Light Plus. I love having a mouth to lung setup like in my regular rotation, in my arsenal of mods that I use daily. It's important to me to have a real good mouth to lung setup. And previously, that was the k Light Plus. And since this has arrived, that k Light Plus has just been completely sidelined. It's just a damn, damn, damn good vape. Anyway, enough rambling from me. I'm going to throw some links down in the description to where you can check out this RTA if you are interested. But that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, yeah, let's keep on vaping.